Hi there. In this video I am going to show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Windows 10 is activated on a uh, Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop or Gaming IdeaPad 3. Anyway, never mind. Open a browser, search for Media Creation Tool. Hit enter. First link, download Windows 10 disk image. Yes, in theory you could also uh, use presumably Windows update to go to Windows 11. I, I don't bother with that. I use the tool that is basically specifically made for uh, this thing. Okay, we don't want the newest Windows 10. Oh, my bad, we want Windows 11. Media creation tool, Windows 11, because otherwise by default it takes you to the one for Windows 10 and, and I didn't even realize it. So download Windows 11. And yes, this is going really slow because I'm giving uh, internet to this laptop from my mobile phone and recording on the floor because we just moved uh, in this space. So Windows 11 installation uh, assistant or there is another option, create Windows 11 installation media. Hmm. We can uh, do both of them. But I'm not sure. Yeah, let's use this one first. Mostly I use uh, this one. But let's see how this one works. So Windows 11 installation assistant. Presumably it will also do some checks before uh, installing compared to this one which might be a bit more uh, blunt to say like that. It's downloaded and click on open file. Did I click on it? Yeah, I did. Smart screen can be reached. Yeah, run anyway. In theory, you shouldn't see that. Presumably my internet is too slow on the phone that I'm giving it to the laptop now. Yes, it will check compa compatibility. Wait, what? Then come back and select refresh. Uh, really? Okay. Create Windows 10, uh, Windows 11 installation media. I, no, I hate that Make compatibility, whatnot. I installed Windows 11 on a few really old laptops and I will link them uh, in the description and they all worked perfectly. So give me a break with this compatibility stuff. Let me show you how we can bypass that whole stupid thing. So we have downloaded this one, not the assistant, and open file. They have annoyed me, managed to annoy me and it's only 10 a.m. Smart screen can be reached, whatever. Ignore it, run it. And it's starting. So now we can simply close the browser. Don't care about that anymore. Camera focus, what are you doing? So we're back in a second when it actually does anything. Ah, okay. No need. Ah, let's scroll all the way down because otherwise it will not let us click on accept. So we read everything really, 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 really quickly. Automatically it sees what windows, uh, what language which you have and the addition it puts all of them, doesn't care. Next. I don't believe it, they actually, uh, really, Jesus. Just look at it, they managed to split 
Windows 10 from the same tool would allow you to update the particular PC you are working on or install to a new PC. They, for Windows 11, they split this. So with that upgrade assistant or whatever the hell it's called, you install onto this PC and with media, media creation tool only on another PC. In theory, we, we could create a USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it and then run the setup from that drive and it will work. But Jesus, back, no, back, anyway, shut it off. Yes, I want to exit. Who? Microsoft, why do you do this? Ugh. Yeah, okay. Windows 11 installation assistant. Let's run this. Thank you, Microsoft, for making things even more stupid. And why doesn't this do the all whole checkup? Why do you have a separate app for the checkup? Are you crazy in your head? Doesn't make any sense. Microsoft, what the hell? Please make things more simple and... <sighs> anyway, sorry for the rant. I, I wanted to use the same logic that I had when I was in, uh, upgrading uh, from Windows 8 to Windows 10 or from 7 to 10, but... It seems that from 10 to 11, you jump through a few hoops to to get it done. Okay, don't let... Let's cut through this whole bullshit. Really? What the... Give me the app. Where's the app? You brought me here to... to... <sighs> you don't need to convince me. I already want. I already want to get the app. You you brought me to an app. Don't give me all that bullshit that I need to scroll through. Okay, that's thumbs down for for this part of Windows 11 upgrade process. Honestly, a, a full fresh Windows 11 upgrade is much easier, and I will show you how to do it on this particular laptop. It's much easier than this stupid upgrade. And if you already had Windows 10 installed on this particular laptop and activated, even a full fresh Windows 11 uh, install will activate based on uh, Microsoft servers. So you don't need to input any key or whatnot. Let's do the health check. Yay. And this thing still can be reached. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe my internet is that slow. Anyway. Except, really, so this needs to be installed now too? <sighs> Microsoft, what were you smoking? <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. Hi, uh, come on, check now. Meets requirements. And now, refresh. Jeez, was it that hard to have a single tool doing both of the, those things or you needed to pay two teams? Yeah, you needed to have two teams. They, they didn't have anything else to work on. Maybe some, uh, some better updates or something. Anyway, it's downloading now. So we can uh, close all the bullshit in in the background because uh, it's not required anymore this is a new laptop we know for a fact that uh, it will run it and work well so wait for it to finish okay went away and let it do its thing as you can see it downloaded and it's also directly installing now so i will go away for a while and hopefully when I come back we are directly booted into Windows 11 and it's just uh, asking us the final steps of the install. Just wanted to mention that doing this uh, upgrade and keeping all of your uh, apps, uh, settings, uh, files, drivers, whatever from Windows 10 to Windows 11 takes way more time than doing just a full fresh uh, Windows 11 install. So it's up to you what you want to do. 
Okay, this thing is waiting for a restart. It will restart by itself in half an hour, but restart now. Why wait? Yep, I know that. Or shouldn't I have pressed close? That makes no sense. Yeah, my daughter asked me <laughs> stuff. Uh, why are you not restarting? Don't tell me that if I press close, it cancels the restart. No, it doesn't cancel it. So that, that again, a stupid design. Give me an OK instead of close. So I, I know that you will be doing some oh, and fluff from this old carpet flying around. So it, uh, it has a few faults, uh, Windows 11, uh, at least in, in this upgrade from Windows 10, it's much more annoying than in a fresh install. So let's uh, let it do its thing now. Install process uh, closing to finish and yes, the longest part of the install happens in Windows. This outside of Windows is much uh, shorter. And we are inside Windows 11. Let's go to settings. Oh, we should give it internet. Let me connect to internet because presumably it's not. Uh, let's see, it's not activated because it didn't see internet. Oh, it. What? Oh, so by doing an upgrade, it doesn't even check for Microsoft servers anymore. It directly activates even without internet. So that's uh, awesome. And I'm expecting honestly for drivers to be uh, to be yeah daughter <laughs> why Julia okay <laughs> daughter pulling on the camera I'm expecting the drivers to be still fully uh, okay from Windows 10 and yes they are so that's about it this is the upgrade process Christmas is coming for my daughters Upgrade process from Windows uh, 10 to Windows 11 on this IdeaPad 3 Gaming from Lenovo. It just works. So, hope my video helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye.